Good morning, everybody. How are we today? Uh, I'm in a different location today. I'm still in the Hawkesbury, but I'm going to be joining the boys down at the boat show today. So I'm looking forward to that. I'll go straight to it. I think we've got Darren Kelly on site and Chris Adlington from TR Marine. Let me just see if I can patch them in. Here we go. How are you, Darren? Yeah, really well, thanks. That's good. And how's the boat show going down there? Yeah, absolutely sensational. We've got a cracker stand. We've got 50 boats on display. Um, you know, really, honestly, if, if people are in the market to get out on the water uh, this year, we've got it all. We've got a boat for everyone. We've got some cracker pricing. Oh, that's terrific. And tell me, I think the, the boat show used to be down at Glebe, didn't it? Now it's at Darling Harbour. We've got a few more people attending. Oh, yeah. We're back back in our home ground now, so there'll be a lot more people come through the door. Um, expecting okay. some big numbers. Um, people always uh, want to what a good deal and a good display. You know, I think we've got it, got everyone covered. Yeah, for sure. I mean, TR Marine's been a great support for the local community in the Hawkesbury. They've been there for 30 odd years. Is that about right? Yeah, just over 30 odd years. Um, definitely uh, offer uh, the local community a, a good product uh, with their brands. They've got number one boat, motor and trailer set up. Um, you know, uh, people in the Hawkesbury area just love their boating. So yeah, you know, not sure. only does it bring people to the area um, and support the local businesses, you know, um, it's just a fun place to be. Absolutely. Um, and we've put a little screen around this because we're at the boat show, so we've got some snorkels and some um, flippers and all sorts of other things, starfish, just to make it a bit interesting, which you can't see, Darren. You probably think I'm crazy talking <laughs> no, to No, no, I can't see <laughs> But um, Chris can see it in behind the scenes. Anyway, um, tell me about the boats that you've got on display here today. Well, I can see some great have, ones behind um, you. So with such a large range, we've got small tinnies um, through your fishing boats into your full-on ski boats. Um, really, we've got all bases covered. Wow. Okay. And what's the most affordable boat? If mum and dad or boyfriend, girlfriend, partner and partner wanted to go and get a boat for the day, um, take it out, that sort of thing, test it and then say, yeah, this is for us. What sort of entry level boating cost would that be, Darren? Oh, we've got packages from five or $6,000 to get people out on the water to tow away um, right through to 130 to, you know, if you go into your full-on ski boats, they're over $200,000. So wow. Okay. On where, what, what budget yeah. they have. <laughs> and tell me, what is it important when people are, I mean, I've got my boating licence, but it's different for each people and, and certainly for people like yourself who are experts in what you're doing. Um, TR Marine, what's the important things for people when they want to get out on the water? What do they need to do? Um, do they obviously need to get a licence, but some don't need a licence? Tell me a little bit about that. We're having a one-stop superstore. You know, we cover all, all uh, avenues for everyone. We, we do... Um, to supply the boats, but we do um, licensing, we have um, insurance, finance, it's, it's just a one-stop shop, um, yes. there's no need to really go anywhere else, uh, we take our customers to the water, we put them on the water, we show them through what they've bought, show them how to drive it, put it on and off the trailer, you know, it's not just uh, a, a purchase, it becomes, you know, become part of the TR Marine family, and um, you know, after 31 years of um, being in the game, on, um, we certainly are very methodical with the way we build the package. It's different yes. cars. We don't just top up the oil and put the hubcaps on. We um, certainly build both packages with correct motor choices, correct prop selections. And, um, you know, it's a, it's a full-on um, two-day work to put a boat package together. For sure. And that sounds really comprehensive. And obviously you're doing something right because you've been there for three decades and going strong. And I think, too, the displays behind you over the years, you've won the best display for... Um, the show is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah won, a, won, won that uh, award several times, and hopefully we're a strong contender this year. No, that's fantastic. And so, how many boats are at the show this year? Would you say? Oh, there'd be uh, you know at least um, two or three hundred boats, I think, on display uh, across the, the the two halls. Wow. Okay. And um, what's your role with TR Marine? What, I mean, obviously you help people um, on board with what they want to get on the water, but um, what do you do day to day? What makes your job interesting? Um, well, I actually uh, come along and help in for boat shows uh, with setups, uh, building, help building packages. I really do anything and everything. And I've been selling Quintrex for, you know, coming up close to 20 years. Um, 
you know, I had my own store um, and good to work in with um, people that, uh, you know, are renowned in the industry for providing customers great stuff. You get the fun job, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I travel around a bit. So, yeah, it's good to come in. I've been in here a week. Um, in total, be here two weeks. So, yeah, it's, it's really good. It's good to be back. Yeah, for sure. And Chris, you're on the camera. You're out of sight. But how are you going down yeah. there at the boat show? Five thirty a.m. Yeah, starts, all, going, all going. Yeah, all going well. Setup was fun. Um, but yeah. um, now that it's all up and running, we're uh, looking forward to a good show. Oh, that's great. And you're enjoying working with TR Marine, I believe. Yeah, it's fantastic. It's a great change from the motor industry, and getting to work with people like Darren teaches you a lot. And yeah, it's all yeah. it's all good. Going well. I think it's important to have good mentors out there and people like Darren and, and people in Tierra Marine that have been there for such a long time, as you say. So, um, no, that's great Definitely. to hear. Yeah. And lots of boats out there, lots of excitement. How do people get there? Where do they park, Darren and Chris? What, what's the story? Yeah, I guess the oh, easiest way is obviously M7, M2 and over the bridge if you're coming from Western Suburbs and obviously M5 if you're coming from Liverpool Way. Um, obviously coming from the south to a lot easier again, but probably parking at Harbour Side is probably your best best bet. Um, and um, straight across from Harbour Side, across the tram tracks and you're in here. So nice and easy to get to and the venue is nice and easy to get around as well. So yeah. it's good. And what's it like, guys, moving from the Glebe to Darling Harbour? Obviously, more boats can get there, more people can get there. But it's for me, looking at the boats there, can you just pan through some of the – a bit of a shop there, yeah. Chris, the, what boats yeah, are there? Sorry, Darren, we still, we, we still like the look of you, but we just want to get <laughs> the boats. Um, it looks quite expansive and, and lots of um, gear on, on store there. And um, Oh, definitely, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Wow, look at that, some tinnies there and you yeah, know, we'll walk you through what you've got we'll run there. Run over to this new uh, this new six thirty freestyle here, which is a new model for us. It's a new yeah. Apex hull from Quintrex. So yeah. um, this is something new for us. I might um might just try and put it on the side here if that works better. Oh, that work better. Yeah, that's good. No, that's good. Does that that works work better. Yeah, terrific. This is all new technology for all of us, so we're having a bit of fun. I hope everybody doesn't mind who's watching. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> I'm sure they won't. <laughs> How is everybody out there anyway that's watching? We get us a few likes there and a few people online, I see, so that's good to, to know. Um, so what's that one you're telling us about? What's the engine size on that? We'll run through the 630 for you now. Perfect. So We've always had, traditionally had a soft, dry ride at Quintrex. Uh, no one else has our hull shape. So, and this is a new, uh, going to revolutionise the marine industry. Um, we've got an even softer, drier ride. Um, it's it's a cracker boat. It's got a lot more room, 20% bigger uh, internal space for the customer, more bang for their buck. Uh, it's yep. got a very sleek um, look about it and lines with it. Um, let's have a look at the new shape in the front. So what is it, Darren, about the shape? Is it like KFC and the secret spices we're not allowed to tell anybody or is there so it's obvious what it is to the layperson like no, myself? It's, it's, that, yeah. Well, I'll show, I'll show you what it is. It's, it's, Great. Uh, there's no, um, no secrets with it. Um, once you see it and, and, and uh, feel it, it's, you know, there's no doubt in your mind. Um, yeah. You get a sharp entry point here. You roll it back. No one else has this. What we've done is bring this up forward. Um, to keep it nice and dry. So when you um, use a 20 mil blade area, it cuts like a knife. Um, the apex is like that, which has been our traditional hull since 1999, but now it gives you nice and straight up here. Um, it gives us 5% bigger uh, footprint. Um, wow. And raising the sides higher, 80 mil gives us a full 20% increase in uh, volume. So yeah. the customer gets a lot more bait for their money. And, yeah, sure. you know, it's, it's certainly... Um, an even better ride than our um, previous model that we've had for, you know, coming up 18 years. I was going to say the ride would be very different and, as you say, plenty of space on the, the boat, so that's great. What are some of the other ones that you've got on, on show there? Or, you know, yeah, show me inside there, Chris. What, what's on the yeah, we'll arrangement? Yeah, obviously a lot more, a lot more yeah. bow space now than previously we've had and, um, like Darren was saying, 20% more space in these than the older, older styles and... Um, just the way the hull design is, it's absolutely perfect for the consumer. It's a really, really good thing. So almost a sun deck on the front here, really. It's great. Yeah, we'll oh, that's we've got just, a great feel. And brilliant. A yeah. feel about it as well. We've got a thicker footform uh, front, a um, lot more volume, as Chris said, in the bow section. Um, the wraparound three-piece four piece screen, sorry, um, you can pull these out, these wings. Um, 
you know, it's just a, it's a good looking boat. This one's got the tower on it. Um, it's real sporty. Uh, it sleeps at the same time, I think, and uh, new design and our um, stickers and that. Uh, you know, it's, it's certainly going to be a game changer in this industry. I think so. You know, I think it's a really good, um, you know, way to go. It looks really good and obviously is very practical in the application. You can fit more people on the boat. How many would fit on that boat, were you saying? Yeah, that's eight, eight people. Um, eight, eight people. Five, um, you know, it's, it's certainly, uh, sorry, it's actually seven. Seven, seven okay. Um, yeah. Seven or eight between, one uh, between friends. It's all right. It's all good. Yeah, it depends. It depends <laughs> if you've got children and that. They're not always classed as an adult. So. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, but internal space is massive. You know, the new bows extended everything out. And it's, it's, it's a win for everyone. Yeah, and tell me about the rigging behind you, if that's what you call it, where you you have the um, skis that come off the um, where they attach for the skis and things. Oh, the tower. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, um, Technical terms that. Tower. Um, <laughs> you have no idea. And, uh, all your water sports. Um, it's also got a self supported. Um, Bimini in it, so there's no frames down at the bottom. So that's yep. you know that that just makes boating easy. Um, you know, it looks sharp, it looks fast. Yep, for sure, for sure. Um, and can you just go in on that, Chris, just a little bit tighter so that we can see some of those things there that yeah, people definitely. might be interested in? Yeah, that's it. Terrific. And does that have some sort of stereo system as well that they would use and? Well, it's got a, a couple of options. Um, firstly, uh, you can have um, the speakers, wakeboard speakers um, that are fitted um, to the tower and obviously put a stereo system in it. Um, it also has uh, another option of uh, some racks to carry the boards and that. So yeah. all the space is freed up for, for um, the passengers. Terrific. All of everything. Yeah. And what's the actual width of the boat and the length of the boat and the height sort of with people with, I mean, buying homes, cars fitting into garages, boats fitting into garages are very important in the Hawkesbury because they're so close to the river and we love our boats so much. So what's the dimensions of that one? On this particular boat, um, 6.3 metres in overall length. On a trailer, you're probably looking at um, probably an eight metres. Uh, we do offer, um, Twin Threads make it, uh, their own trailers, yeah. so you do actually have the option to buy a folding drawbar, which will pull that eight metres uh, back to probably around about seven, maybe a little bit over. Uh, yeah, it's sure. been, it's about, you know, on a trailer, it's probably going to be about 2,300. Um, you know, it's height. Uh, it does all fold, so you're probably looking at, on a trailer height, uh, approximately 2.1, 2.2 metres. You know, you, yeah. you, you probably need a, on this particular 630, um, we do have smaller range um, starting from uh, 5.1 metres. Well, that's pretty good because um, not everybody wants that bigger, you know, unit. They want something that they can get around easier. I remember... I'm going to be a bit vulnerable here for a minute, but um, I remember a family day out. I just bought this boat. It was a half cab and all very excited um, to take everybody out. And mum and dad, poor mum and dad got my boat. And uh, my brother, he's quite experienced with skiing and uh, with his family. So he had Joe and a few other people in their boat. And um, of course, I forgot to put the bungs in, didn't I? So I put the boat in the water and we're at the um, the side of the, the jetty and wondering why the boat's sort of slowly sinking. So it's always very important, I think, people to ensure that bungs are in before we get started. Uh, <laughs> otherwise, you can have a bit of fun out on the water, can't you? Yeah. What other yeah. safety tips um, have you got available um, for people when they've got their boats there and, and, you know, things are important. Obviously, vests are important. Bungs are very important from my perspective. Otherwise, the boat will sink. Um, but also, anything else that uh, is important for people? Yeah, definitely. A lot of um, pre-trip uh, boat planning is, is essential, you know, working out fuel um, consumptions and uh, ratios, um, you know, having the right in date safety gear is a big one and uh, always be prepared for the unexpected. Um, let someone know where you're going. Um, yeah. you know, we use um, Australian Boating College here in Sydney um, for licensing and training courses. Um, Adam there runs the, the show and he's been in the game a long time, very professional people. Um, you know, yeah. certainly if I was new to boating, I would like to go along and get uh, trained up uh, with someone like that and then sure. you can certainly buy the right package. It's all yeah. a combination, you know, um, if you get all ticks in the box right, you never have a problem. I've, I've been boating a very, very long time. Yeah. And there's observers that go in the boat as well, um, that uh, the seats are 
you know, rigged a particular way so that when there's skiing going on and so forth? Yeah, well, definitely if you, you know, you're towing uh, anyone behind the boat in the tube, you know, you need an, uh, a water ski or a, sure. a, uh, an observer um, at all times. Yeah. And tell me, um, do they have GPS trackers or trackers that you can carry with you in, in case of emergency that come back to somebody like yourself or some sort of marine company that look after that for people? So if you get stuck somewhere and you need emergency assistance? Yeah, that's a, a part of the safety gear requirement in certain areas. Um, it's not required yep. inshore. Um, the um, ether, which is emergency positioning indicating radio beacon, um, is uh, actually goes back to camera. They monitor them 24 hours a day, and it's uh, life-threatening use only. So no muck around with that stuff. Um, but you know, yeah. when you really need it, um, that's what it's there for. For sure. No, that's terrific. Well, thanks so much for your time today, guys. Um, Chris and Darren, it's been a pleasure catching up with you and seeing what's on at the boat show. When, um, where can people find you? How can people find you both in the Hawkesbury and also at the boat show today? From today onwards, does it start at 10 today? Yeah, yeah, we're uh, just uh, going through a few final touches and we'll be kicking yeah. off at 10 o'clock. Um, we're in the ground floor here at the show. Um, we've got the largest stand. Uh, you can't miss us. We've got um, some aerial signage off the roof. We've got, we've got it all. There's a massive amount of boats on our stand. Um, back yeah. in the store, we're in um, Curtis Street, McGrath Hill. Um, pretty much you can't miss us there either. We're signed. Um, there's 3,500 square metres of boating. Yeah. And what's the best contact number for them to call you on if they wanted some advice in regards to boating or buying the best boat or how to get out on the water in the Hawkesbury? Yeah, well, obviously our main number is um, 0245773522. That's uh, 45773522. That's our main landline. Um, obviously, my mobile is 0412916055, 0412916055, and I'll get Darren to read his out as well while he's here on the stand. Yeah, mine's 0438 800 162. Can you just repeat that, Darren, a little bit quiet there? Yeah, 0438. 800-162. Fantastic. No, that's great, guys. Well, thanks very much for joining me today. Thank you, everybody who's been online and watching the show. We really appreciate you being on there. Um, thanks, Catherine. Catherine's looking forward to seeing the boats on the weekend. She's going to be out there seeing you guys, and I'm sure there'll be a few other people that will be in and around as well. So thanks very much for being on the line, and we'll catch up with everybody on the next broadcast. See you again. Thank you. Thanks okay. Thanks, Bye, guys.